Hi, welcome to Vera Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to help you with a common concern we have with uh, images being submitted to Veer, and that's files that contain blown highlights. An image which contains blown highlights has RGB values which are above 250. The Veer guideline states that we don't like seeing images with uh, values of the RGB higher than 250. And the reason that we've set these values is to align ourselves with the standards of most commercial printers. This ensures that neither our customers nor the printers will have problems with the files. So what I'm going to do is use Photoshop to first identify whether or not the image has a problem, and second, if it does, how we can use Photoshop to fix it. So the first thing I need to do is grab a couple tools. Uh, I'm going to click down here and grab my eyedropper tool first. And the second tool that I need is my info palette. If you look in the top right hand corner, you can see that mine's already selected. If yours isn't, you can just go to Window, scroll down to Info and just make sure that it's checked. The next step is to use a, uh, the Info dialog box to identify our highlight. This is a little bit of a trick and it's a, a really quick way of identifying whether or not you have a, a blown highlight. So I'm just gonna hit Command L on a Mac or Control L on a PC. And I'm going to go to the input levels and I'm gonna grab the shadow input level on the left hand slide. And I'm just gonna just slide it over to the right, almost all the way over to the right hand side. And as you can see, this really quickly identifies where the brightest areas of our image are. Uh, I need to place a color sampler here so I can reference the, the value later. So I'm just going to hold shift and click with my mouse and that places a color sampler. So I'm just going to cancel this level command since we don't want to actually apply those levels. Um, but as you can see, when we look over to the info palette, we can see that we do have an RGB value of 253 here. As we stated before, this is a little higher than we'd like to see. We'd like to see it closer to the 250. So what I'm going to do is show you how we can use Photoshop to fix this. Again, the same command, I'm going to use the Levels dialog box. So Command L on a Mac or Control L on a PC is going to bring up our Levels command. Now, instead of adjusting the input levels this time, I'm actually going to be adjusting the output levels. And the output level I want to target is the highlight on the right-hand side. But first I want to look at the value that we have for our RGB up in our info palette. And while I make this move, I'm going to keep my eye on that value up on the top. And I'm just going to slowly move it over until we have a value that we want to see. Uh, and there we go. We have a value of 250. So you can see before making the move in levels, we had a value of 253 for the RGB. And after making the move, we have a, a value of 250 for the RGB channel. I'm going to say, okay which uh, accepts the, the level change. And as you can see, this file now has highlights that are at 250. These are acceptable values for submission to Veer, and this is what we'd like to see. And that's it, we're done. I hope this has been useful, and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.